Hi, welcome to Wednesday. I had a super special video planned. I've had it planned for a while. I really wanted it done by Friday, and it's not going to happen. So it'll happen very soon. Um, and I think it's going to be really special. It, it might be the kind of thing that makes people actually interested in what we're doing on this channel. Um, but today, we are doing something that's genuinely really interesting. It's really cool. Um, so... With no further ado, I want to introduce you guys to Night in the Woods. Oh, it, it still hasn't showed up in the video. There we go, Night in the Woods! Yeah, that's right. We're going to start a new game. This game has been talked of so highly. I watched a GDC talk from one of the writers, uh, and it looks incredible. In the year the granddad died, I uh, hit the C button. Oh, there we go. The highway extension came. The road through Possum Springs had been the only way to the state park. The highway took the traffic, but gave us Donut Wolf. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories. He quoted, to the, he quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old parking lots, wide and sparkling like oceans. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. <laughs> well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Come home, May. I want to run to the sound. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 1045. It's closed. Oh my goodness, I love this so much already. <laughs> Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Alright, well... So are you the janitor or something? Looks that way. What do you do? I fixed this door. That's it? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. What does V do? Oh my goodness. I love that too. Hey, I can look at this. Wow, when did they put this up? Historic Possum. Possum Springs has never looked more... Falsely advertised. Oh heck yeah. This must be it must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs get zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerk hole took the time to rip it off. Who steals a phone? Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Oh man, I love the way that like this is this is not incredibly response. Well, responsive is probably the wrong word. But this movement here, like it takes time for her to turn around, right? It's like, whoa. I don't know, I like it. I like it. It feels very natural. All right, can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the dang thing. I don't swear, sorry. That, that might be a surprise to those who watch. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fiascola from the machine. Uh, am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free. Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Oh man, let's just start right off with the janky bullcrap. What the? They have lime fiasco. And he wants fiascola? That's just a waste. Okay, just gotta grab it. Oh, I actually have to put my paw forward. This is incredible. What happens if I overshoot? Oh, I can't. I it just I don't know where it is. Wait, I just I just want to. There we go. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, 
So there's actually a principle I really, really want to talk about. Uh, and I'm going to stand here in like the first screen and just explain this for a second. So in games recently, I, I've seen this trend of... Uh, actually, no, let me explain it this way. Uh, a couple of years ago, I went to Disney World with my family, right? I took my, my wife and my kids. Actually, my wife kind of took me, but that, that's, you know, it was fun. Um, we went to Disney World, and there was this ride that we were set. Like, everybody said, you got to go on this one. Uh, and it was Belle's story time. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so dumb. We're going to sit down, and, and we're going to have a story told to us. Or we're going to, like, sit in a cart and, and walk, like, go, go around and have this thing, like, happen to us, right? Um, so we go into a room, we sit down, and it's exactly what I'm expecting, you know? There's a person there dressed as Belle in costume. And spoiler alert, if you're going to do this, just stop right now because this is actually kind of incredible. <coughs> Um, and I actually, I'm going to switch to my face so you guys can see me. So we sit down and there's a, a mirror in the background, right? And it's, it's like, you know, just head height. You'd look through it, that sort of thing. And Belle's talking about it and like, you know, picks up an enchanted mirror and is talking about how it's magical. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is... I mean, we're doing this for the kids, right? This is all about about doing stuff for the kids. And then they, like, do a lighting and sound thing, and it's like, ooh, you're going to go to the castle. And then the mirror grows, and you walk through it to the next section where you actually act out the parts of the story. And just that moment of, like, they could they could have had some animatronics or like just sat us down and like swung stuff in from the ceiling and it would have been cool but like the act of saying here's what you expected to be a mirror and opening up and giving you a bigger experience than that that's the magic of interactive entertainment right that is exactly the magic of interactive entertainment so when we did uh when we did the scene here where I, as May, got to reach my little paw forward and grab the cola. Oh my goodness, that's magic. That is why we do interactive media. That's what this is about. Oh, he's going to shotgun that thing. Oh my goodness, that's... <laughs> I love this whole... I love this whole game. This is probably the best thing that's ever happened. Oh my goodness. Uh, so what are you doing here? I live here. Well, I, I lived here. Huh, strange. When do you think the door's going to be finished? Now? Goodbye. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh. Oh, the characterization's so good, and like, the lights, I, it's so cute. I, I love it all. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking alone. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... This game is probably the most incredible thing I've played on this channel so far. I'm l like... What are we? We're eight minutes in, and I'm just... And like five minutes of that was me telling a story. This is incredible. <sighs> I guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Oh, man. This is so dark and falling apart. And there's like, you know, there are leaves, but it's still junk on the street, right? Train. Wow, I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night during the winter when the leaves were down. Because oh. what this game is, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you a little bit that I know ahead of time. This is a story of, like, growing up and being disenfranchised with growing up, right? And they've done so good at that. Like, you expect when you come home to have a big welcome, for everyone to give you a hug, and you're like, this is amazing. And sometimes, sometimes people are just living their lives, and you don't get that, you know? Life is full of, of disappointments on things that don't need to be disappointing. Well, I guess I'm going to hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, and this... And, like, I get to interact with the leaves, too. 
Like, just the little touches. The little touches are so important in game design. And anyone who doesn't do the little touches, like, don't... That's that's what games are about, you know? And now that I've kind of learned and felt this concept, that's something that Encompassed is missing, and i got to go back and do. Anyway, let's... Uh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. That's the way that dank's supposed to be used. I don't know why... Oh, man, plastic bags hanging on trees. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a load, a log load at some point. Ugh. Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Oh, hey, what's that? A, uh, tutorial on climbing? Can I, I can go out here. Can I break this? Oh. I, I can't necessarily break it, but I can fall off of it. And, like, things carved in the trees? Oh my goodness, this is... Ooh, that's dangerous. Oh my goodness. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I felt alive. <laughs> I am not going to die in this hole. It jumps up. Oh my goodness. I love it. And like my instinct was to go play with the interactables, you know? I actually, I wonder if I had to play with the interactable there to get through or if it was like, I don't know. It just, like, it felt like the right thing to do. It felt good. Uh, I think the audio needs to go up, because there's just little bitty audio cues, and I'm, I'm talking over top of them. So we're actually taking the audio up quite a bit. Yeah. Because it is really light. Well, I haven't been here in ten years. And apparently, no one else has. Oh, dude. Nuke Possum Springs, man. What's this? I don't know what they're going for here. Some sort of boat castle. Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies soon. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, I want to play with the steering wheel so bad. Hoy. Oh. I mean, I still got to play with it, kind of, right? So when I walk past it, it does stuff. Huh. What's this? Ugh, oh, come on. I don't think I have the upper body strength to climb this. You can't keep me out, Possum Springs. I'm the queen of you. Could probably just jump off this telephone pole. Looks like the ladder's gone. If I get to the top of this thing. Ugh. Yep, that's right. I can never make it onto this boat. On, I can never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. And the logs, the logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Oh, thanks for the tutorial. Oh my gosh, that's how you do a tutorial, man. Oh, it's so good. Can't stop running while I do this, not even for a second. I gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Oh, I love... I, oh my gosh. Okay, I love this so much. Like, that's how you do a tutorial, right? And I just did a triple jump. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not on this playground. Ah, not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh my goodness. I have a notebook and options down here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, and then I just like walk off the edge like a total noob. Triple jump, cause I rock. And then we're tightrope walking like a flippin' baller. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Hello, May. It's been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? <sighs> no. What? Well, I just had an experience. I just took control of the situation and overcame it. And now the freaking popo are going to be like, 
What in the, why are you playing in the playground? You're not supposed to be playing in the playground. It's dangerous. Hey, remember me? Ah! May you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh, May, honey. We thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong! <laughs> what, what an impertinent jerk. I mean, I know that, like, they forgot you, but you're a grown-up. Get over it. How'd you get here? I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Mollcop. Did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi to I say hi for no one. Wow, what a douche. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night on that too? Ah, oh, man, so good to hear that voice again. Good night. Jeez. I'm a jerk. There few, I mean, I know she's angry, but like, and, and like she has reason to be angry, but that's, that, that may be too far. Ah, oh, there are a few things hanging around from the old country, like the grandfather clock, the trunk in the storage room, whatever is buried in the, buried in the house after the cement incident. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, that seems like a completely reasonable thing. If you take your parents for granted. Taking off. Oh, we did take both shoes off. Man. I'm beginning to wonder if I... If this is some people's experience after, uh, after college, and it's just not mine. Like, I went and spent two years abroad, and then went to college and married my wife and had kids while still in college so I'm, I'm a dad and I don't think I ever experienced the I can be a jerk to my parents thing scratch 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 get my shoe could play some bass but which song space dragon a space dragon Wanderer in space, no matter the forbidden place. Mm. Space dragon. talking about it. Look at me rock that bass, man. Oh. Mm hmm. My bass skills are legendary. Yeah, man. in the sense because I was totally oh my goodness look at that flipping space dragon I just summoned man yeah oh oh oh, th oh there's more Oh 
Yeah, I got the last four. That was... Oh, man. Fist pump worthy. And I summoned a space dragon. I'm like, I'm a baller. <laughs> I literally do not know this song. Well, that's, I, I have no idea either. Oh, uh, okay. So that actually had, my bring, had me bring my fingers up to the number keys. That was a really good experience. Like another one of those, oh, what a surprise. That was so good. And like, you don't have to mess with the base. You could leave the base right there. It don't matter. We don't care. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, man. Or not. I guess, I guess, is that not a bathroom? Is that a kid's room or something? Okay, can I slide the banister? Please let me slide the banister. I want, I want that more than I want water at this point in time. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Hey, yeah, forget about me. Why don't you? Freaking punk mom. Actually, I hope she has better. Oh, hey, look, on the counter, man. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the clocks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It's such short notice. It's okay, mom. May, honey. Yeah? Is everything okay? What do you mean, or yeah? What do you mean? Let's go with that. Honey, did something happen? I just need to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. It's not usually something a college sophomore just up and down. Isn't it? Isn't that like what most college so uh, Whatever. I'm, I'm not going there. I know. Honey, can you tell me if something happened? Mom, I'm fine. Really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. I guess we're college sophomores. It's not like we've graduated. Yeah, she can be a bit of a punk. I'm okay with it. I accept it now. I bet you your old friends would be happy to see you. You wouldn't know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Stack Falcon. Up in town center west by the Click Clack. Wow, okay. I think I'll run over and say, hey, we have a Snack Falcon now? Yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the, donk the food donkey went out, the food donkey's gone? Oh yeah, going on about a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes to the ham pound through. Oh my gosh, I love the name of these places. <laughs> the ham pound through out by the highway now. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. And we have a snack falcon. Yeah, it's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. We'll have a good time out there. Lots to explore. See what's changed. I will. Watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be Fallen Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. I, I probably could have just run out without talking to her. I gotta try that. Because some of this has got to be role-playing. And maybe I should be role-playing a little bit. Oh my goodness. That was the intro. I think this is probably the perfect place to end. Let's do that, actually. Okay. Alright, so that is the intro to Night in the Woods, and I love it probably more than I have loved any other game with cats and dogs. That's fair. <laughs> oh man, I am so excited about this. Like, between this and Snake Pass, I, I think I have all the best games in the whole world. I'm, I'm just so happy. And, you know, Shovel Knight too. Shovel Knight's really good. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday, probably with more of this. Um, and I have a super awesome video coming. I, I, I have my hand over here. I have a super awesome video. I, it's going to be really good, and I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, cool. We'll see you.